Hello, Alayda. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm doing great. Very happy to be here. I'm very happy to have you here. You are the first one today. Okay. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> it's good to know it. Yes. How was your day, Alayda? Uh, it was busy, but I had the time to share with my family. Hey, that's uh, nice. But <laughs> yeah, but the point is, right now I am the babysitter. I am with my nephew. <laughs> oh, really? Oh yeah. my god. Um, you are because my sister. Uh -huh. <laughs> because my sister had an emergency. Oh with... my goodness! And how old is your nephew? He's four years old. Ah, it's four years old. Yeah, it's exactly the age. Yeah. Similar mm, to yeah. my son. Ah, really? <laughs> yeah, my son is five years old. They're always screaming. Eso es como gritando, ¿verdad? Gritando, ajá. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. When yeah. they are playing, they uh, scream too. When they are playing, they are always yelling and screaming and doing crazy things. Yes, teacher. And yeah. right now, I, I told him, Okay. I will be uh, in class. Keep silent. Yeah, I will be in class. Please uh, keep silent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I just, uh, what, what, well, what my son, he knows that I am in class, right? So he goes and watches TV or he plays uh -huh. with something, but all of a sudden he appears here and he's like, what are you doing? Have you finished? Uh -huh. And he's like, no, I haven't finished. Okay. And he and he leaves. So he, he's he's always like pendant of me working and finishing the class. And he's like, have you finished? And it's like, no, not yet. Okay. And he, he asks for attention, right? Because uh, they are very demanding. I saw it with, uh, with my sister. He's always like, mommy, mommy. Mm -hmm. mommy mommy here mommy like that is telling everything like yeah it uh, happens it happens to me that at the end of the night for example when we finish classes well it's 10 p.m right mm -hmm. so uh, sometimes he's sleeping already and i just i just get ready and go to bed but in some cases he stays awake and he's like mom and this and that and he has a lot of stories kept for me to to know at the end of the night and I'm like uh-huh uh -huh. and, and in some cases he's full of energy and I am low battery already <laughs> and he's like and this and that and I have to tell you about this and this and this and this so I'm like uh-huh 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 <laughs> and you're like uh <laughs> yeah, in some cases I just want to sleep but yeah, yeah. I know <laughs> that happened like... with my sister too <laughs> So it's and like, during the sorry during the weekend on Saturday, I have uh, here uh, the other nephew. I have with the two my the, two nephews. Oh my goodness! The other has I. The other yeah, is sorry, the uh -huh. other is uh, seven years old. Oh my god, seven but, and four. Yes, yeah, seven and four. You know, it's a very uh, it's interesting mix in that uh, age. No. Yes. Um, because uh, some of them was pinky and the other one is cerebral. Pinky, <laughs> the, the brain and the brain and pinky because <laughs> they are they are just inventing yes. inventing things to do and they are just mm -hmm. like checking on on what is more dangerous than the other thing, right? I, yeah. I, I don't I don't really know what <laughs> what they think about because they are they are always like doing something crazy. And I, I always tell like, Alexander, why are you always looking for danger? Always. But yeah, thank God it's only one. <laughs> Imagine yeah. if, if I had more than one, he would be like, uh, you know. Your, pa so. your patience and your nervous <laughs> oh, Everything, <laughs> everything will go, I will go crazy. No, but I, I, I always say that I really admire people with more than one kid. Yeah. I don't know how they yeah, do it. Yeah, it's better. Admirable. admirable. It's admirable. Admirable. Uh, admirable. Admirable. Yeah, but it's cool. I mean, it is. It is nice, right? Today I was. Um, I was at the office, 
And in some cases, he goes to my office and he stays in my on my desk, right? But today in the morning, I was checking on, on my agenda and everything. And in the middle of my agenda, I found a message from him that he left there in my agenda. <laughs> and he said, your office is very cool. And he drew a picture of me and I was like, Oh. Ah, <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was like the mother, mo mother moment. I said, <laughs> oh. And it, maybe uh, your your son uh, makes something like my nephew when he saw a flower in another garden. A little that little yellow uh, flower. Yes, he cut it and he and he said one for my mom and the other one for you and. He's yeah, he's flowers. always he's always cutting flowers on mm -hmm. on on people's gardens. Yeah. Okay. Well, my dear class, welcome everybody. Welcome to this day, Mr. Nelson. How are you feeling? I'm feeling better. Okay, you look better than yesterday. Yesterday you look like. <laughs> Like as a zombie. Yeah, you look <laughs> knocked down. <laughs> knocked down. Yes. Like... <laughs> yes. Yeah, you, you look very, very sick yesterday. But thank God you are feeling better. It is, it is good that you are feeling a little bit better now. That is nice. What about the rest? How are you feeling? Are you feeling good, bad, so so a little bit? I am, eating uh -huh. I, am, I am eating now. Ah, you are eating. Enjoy yes. your food. Enjoy Thank your you. food. <laughs> when you have, when you find someone, for example, who is eating, and you want to uh, to say the phrase that we always say in Spanish, like "buen provecho," you say, and you say, "How do you say that in English?" You say. Enjoy your meal, enjoy your food. So those are the phrases that you can use. You don't say good. <clears throat> it's the same, right? Enjoy your meal is like enjoy your food is the same. Disfrute su comida o disfrute su almuerzo o su platillo, right? But it's the same, the same uh, form for both. But many people say good provech. <laughs> and it's like, no. It doesn't exist, right? Good provech doesn't exist. It is enjoy your meal or enjoy your food. Yeah, and there are many people who invent things in English. So don't believe everything that you listen around. The first time I saw Raul drinking that, I thought you were drinking mate. No, it's a... Uh... Mm. What is the name of water, mineral water? Ah, mineral water, yeah, mineral water. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> That's very good. What, which one, Salutari? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like the lemon ones and the the normal ones and the orange ones. And the, I think it's Toronja, the other one. I like with without any... Flavor. Flavor, yeah. The normal one. Yeah. I like that one too. Yeah, mostly if you put lemon and salt and a little bit <laughs> <laughs> and a little bit of something else, that it's very good as well. Yeah, some some people say, right? Así me han contado. I don't know. <laughs> some people say that it's very good. Carlita, how are you feeling today? Fine, teacher. Okay, good, good. Well, my dear class, today, as I told you yesterday, we are going to work a little bit on a unit number three on the platform. And then we are going to start working on uh, the last unit that it's mainly about past tense. And we are going to do a general review of this topic. I know it's a very complicated issue. It's a very complicated topic. And <laughs> to be developed in five days, it's kind of impossible, but uh, I'm going to do my best to explain 
the most general things about past tense. And I am going to share a PDF with you with some exercises and some explanation for you to use it as well, okay? I know past tense, it's a very broad topic, a very complicated issue, but uh, <clears throat> uh, maybe you have studied before, but uh, I am going to try to refresh the most common and the most important parts of it, okay? And for sure, uh, I will try to send you like extra info because I know it is not going to be possible to cover everything, right? But in, uh, in, in this case, I, I just want to kind of reinforce what you might know about past tense, okay? So that's why I told you before, it is good that you go and remember a little bit on the transformation of the verbs and also in the different parts of, uh, of verbs, regular, irregular, right? For you to refresh a little bit on the knowledge that you have about the topic. And if you don't remember about it, so it's, the, it's a good moment for you to go and review a little bit, okay, about past tense. So <clears throat> about unit number three on the platform, uh, let me share my screen, okay? I was just moving everything and I was not, not sharing it yet. Okay. There you go. In unit number three, and I saw that many of you have already finished it, right? I saw many of you that have already advanced on it. We are going to uh, go over it. I am just going to check it out to see the different advancements that you have had on uh, the platform, right? I am going to show it to show it to everybody. And as you can see, many of you have advanced on unit number three, right? Aleida has already finished it with 100%. Andrea Sofia is missing a little bit because one of the exercises in, is in 80. Blanca Alejandra already finished. Carlos Eduardo is missing a little bit. Maybe something we need to change there. Cesar is uh, still missing to work on unit number three. Right, and also Ed Nielsen, he's missing maybe one exercise because it's on 80%. Eric already finished unit number three. Uh, Miss Nati hasn't finished unit number three, right? <laughs> That's me. Hernan already finished. Horacio already finished unit number three. And unit number four, Horacio, fantastic. Very good job because you have 100% on everything on your platform now. Jose Luis is still missing a little bit on unit number three. Juan Francisco is still missing everything because I, have, I don't have any information from Juan Francisco. So if you are listening to me, Juancito, I don't know if you have connected already. Let me check it out. If not, uh, if he sees this recording later on, please one advance on this because I really need you to finish. Uh, we also have the rest of you. Uh, Mr. Magdiel already finished everything. Nelson already finished everything on the platform. Uh, Paola, we are still missing unit number three, right? And a little bit of the midterm that it's going to be completed. Rafael, Alexander is missing. Uh, section three is still, and let me see the rest of you. Um, Rafael Antonio, it's working still on unit number three, it's on 60%. Raul already finished. Uh, Wilber uh, already finished. Raul Ernesto, you're missing a little bit. Maybe one exercise is, is less than one, 100. Tal vez alguno de los ejercicios nos ha quedado con menos de 100%. Hay que revisar cuál fue. Wilber already finished and Jasmine that is in 60%. So it is important that we complete everything on 100. So you don't have any issues. So let's go to uh, section number three for us to complete it, right? For us to complete and to close that chapter of our lives here. And for sure, this was the first exercise that we did the other day about the different positions in human resources. Do you remember that we did this one before? 
And uh, we were talking about the talent manager consultant that is the one in charge of overseeing both the talent review and the, perform the performance management procedures, right? Or processes. The human resources generalist is the one who develops appropriate strategies for clients regarding employee relationships, disciplinary actions, and operations. What is the main focus of the compensation specialist? It works in a human resource or personnel department. What about the benefit specialist? What does he or she do? This person is responsible for assisting with the administration of all benefits. And the administrative assistant, for sure, handles administrative requests and queries from senior management. And we were talking on this moment that queries are questions or needs, okay, about the managers. So this was the first section that we already completed the other day. And in this one, we use it as part of the class. Do you remember that I was asking you questions about the different procedures of training? ¿Se recuerdan cuando hicimos esto en clase? Yes, no, fue un momento de sus vidas que se los había robado la gripe. No, right. Yes, teacher. I remember. <laughs> you, you remember. So I was asking questions about true and false things about this specific chart on the manual. And we were talking about the different forms of requesting training. And it says, the first step is to provide your personal information. True or false? Is it the first false. step? It's false. What is the first step? Um, you have to check the, the train. No, you have to choose the training that you are interested. You have to choose the training, right? The first step is to choose the training that you are interested on. Okay. What about the next one? You have to notify the talent management consultant about any training you are interested in. Uh -huh. True or false? It's true. It is true, right? It is true. And it's right here, right? Check with the talent Psycho. management consultant if you can take the training, right? You have to check if you are interested in doing it. You have to check with the person. If it's not necessary to specify the date, hours of instruction, name of the training in the note for request, a participation in training, true or false? False. It is false because here it says, yes. specify. Specify the date and hours of inst instruction. Instruction, very good. You have to specify everything. So in this case, it is not necessary. No, this is false. It's false. Because you need to do it. Human resources doesn't have anything to do with the process of enrolling in training. False. It's false, false because it says send it to human resource. Human resources department, right? In this case, so this one is false. And the last one, you have to make sure all the information is clear and complete. It's true. It's true, right? So there you have the second part of section number three. After this one, you have a, identify the mistake on each sentence and correct it. In this case, you are going to use present continuous, right? In present continuous, remember that you have to use the verb to be and the verb in the ing form right, for you to have a complete sentence with an ongoing action. So it says, my boss traveling to Colombia for training about sales. What will be missing here? Only one verb. Only Probably. one verb. So which uh, verb? Uh, the first. Uh -huh. So it says, my boss. Traveling to Colombia for. Well, what is missing there? My He's boss traveling. is, right? My boss is traveling, traveling to, to Colombia 
For training. For training. Very good. For training about. Oh, my God. About sales. And that is the first sentence. Remember that in order to have a complete sentence in present continuous, you need is or are and the verb to be. The next one. I am writing a memo right now. What would be the correct form? The word writing is wrong. Exactly. The word writing is wrong. <laughs> like <laughs> I am writing a memo, memo right now. Right now. And there you have it. The next one, it says the secretary and I I'm checking documents right now. What is the problem here? The secretary. Um... Uh huh. The verb to be because it's uh, they. Exactly, because it's they. So the verb to be should it's be? Used to our. Lit. Our. Our. The secretary and I, two people, right? The secretary and I are two people. And in this case, you need to use the verb to be in the plural form, right? The secretary and I are. What about the next one? We planning to promote him as a manager. We are. We are planning, same. right? We are. Sorry for my... I don't want to type moment. <laughs> we are planning, right? We are planning to promote him as a manager. We are planning to promote him as a manager. And the last one, it says the team is play soccer now. Playing. The team is playing. The various doesn't have ING form. Okay. The team is playing soccer, playing soccer. now. No. Okay. So hopefully. I don't have any mistake and that's it, right? So that's important. So check on your sentence. Revisen sus oraciones si no les ha quedado ninguna ahí eh, a medias para que podamos tenerla completa. In the next one, in the next exercise, number 14, it's a little introduction of past tense, right? Was its use with he, she, and it. Where is using to transform the verb are into past tense, okay? Was re reemplaza el verbo is y where reemplaza el verbo are para hacerlo pasado. Picasso, in this case, it's a man. So you are talking about the painter. It's he. So in this case, he in the normal form in present, you use he is. But in the past tense, you say he was. He was a Spanish. He a was Spanish a Spanish, Spanish painter. painter. He was a ¿Y por qué decimos Spanish that he was? He is not here anymore. Ya Picasso, bye bye, right? I anda pintando por otros lados. Palmo. <laughs> okay. He's pushing daisies now. Pushing daisies is an idiom that means that he is dead, right? <laughs> He's pushing daisies. ¿Y por qué se Colgo le dice? Los tenis. Colgo los tenis, right? Pushing daisies. Es que ya está empujando la flor desde, desde la tierra. He's pushing <laughs> daisies now. It's a bad idiom, but it, it means that you are dead, right? He's pushing daisies, right? Picasso was a Spanish painter. There, a mouse in the garden. A mouse is only one animal. It means it. So, in this case, in a normal sentence, you say, like, there is a mouse in the garden. Pero ya lo mataron. So, there... Was. There was a mouse in the garden, right? Bye-bye. Fluffy ate it. Fluffy ya se lo almorzó. There was. <laughs> yeah, ¿se recuerdan quién es Fluffy, eh? Yeah. Yes. Who was Fluffy? ¿Quién era Fluffy? The family the cat. cat. The family cat. Very good from yesterday. Excellent. Nice. We playing football. Antes de arruinarnos la rodilla. We, we were. We were playing we were. football, right? 
now after your rodillita was damaged. No, yo era bueno en el fútbol, me iban a llevar al mundial, pero me fregué la rodilla de usted. Like Argentina, right? <laughs> Uh -huh. After be all. <laughs> yeah. Para, le, para ir al trabajo, nadie se levanta a las seis de la mañana, a las cuatro de la mañana. But today, at four in the morning, huh? Me contaron por ahí que ahí estaban viendo tele a las cuatro de la mañana. César was doing it. I, I can see it in his face. <laughs> no. Después lo vi en, en repetición. I don't know, but yeah. I don't have that, that, that um, soccer spirit. Nah. It was a rainy day or it were a rainy day? What do you use with it? Was. It was, was. right? Because you normally use is in present, right? It was a rainy day. Maybe in September, because now... All day is hot. The children, plural. Where? Where? Yeah. The children were in the park, oh. right? The children were in the park. And that's basically it. It's our introduction to the past tense. And here in the last exercise that we have for this unit, it is also the, um, the use of past tense. But in this case, we have answered the following questions using short answers. Give positive or negative answers. In this case, you say, was I late? You can say, yes. Sorry. You can say, yes, you were, that is one option, or no, you were weren't right you have two options here yes you were or no you weren't that is the two forms of answers in this case you have the options for affirmatives or negatives so in these ones on your answers you have the same options that you have i answer like if you were asking me and said like was i late you say, yes, you were, or no, you weren't, like if I am answering. But in the platform, it says, yes, I was, no, I wasn't. It answers in first person, right? Esos son uno de los problemas que les puedo haber dado. So you say, yes, I, and with I, you use was. Or you say, no, I wasn't. The most like the correct form of answering the question, was I late? Is because you are asking someone else, right? Lo más lógico sería que le contestara alguien más. Porque usted no dice, was I late? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't, right? A menos que tenga doble personalidad como yo cuando les hago las conversaciones. No. You see, I wanted to show it to you because in this case, the platform answers in first person, right? So you say, yes, I was, or no, I wasn't. For the second one, it says like, were you in a school yesterday? Yes, I was, no, I wasn't. The two options are possible. Was he at work this morning? Yes, he was, no, he wasn't. Si él estuvo, no, no estaba. So, estuvo él en el trabajo esta mañana? Yes, he was. Right? Was she tired? Estaba cansada ella? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Right? Be careful. Be careful here with the apostrophe that you use. Tengan cuidado con el apostrofe que le ponen, porque eh, de repente si le ponen la, la, el acento, no se los toma correcto. So you have to use the same apostrophe that you can see here. Was the movie good? Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Right? The two options are possible. And if you have them, for example, let's answer, no, I wasn't to all of them, right? Were you at school? You say, no, I wasn't. Was he at work this morning? Let's see. No, he wasn't, let's say. Uh, was she tired? Yes, she was, we're going to say on this one. And uh, was the movie good? 
yes, it was. In this one, we say it because we are referring to the movie, right? And there you go. Which one is correct, you see? <laughs> ah, the period. And in this one, what is the problem, my dear platform? Okay, ya ven. <laughs> Le copié la respuesta a ella misma y no me la acepta. <laughs> So, so you say, were you at school yesterday? Yes, I was. Okay, we're going to say this one. Ta -da. There you go. So uh, this is the last exercise that you have for unit number three, for section three. So if you hadn't completed before, check it out for you to have all your answers correct, okay? Así que revísenla, porfa, a ver cuál de los ejercicios les había quedado ahí a medias. Okay. So, unit number four, it's going to be about past tense, right? Mostly. It is going to be about past tense, and we're going to try to cover it complete. It is not very difficult. The, the exercises are not very difficult. These are just, uh, these are WH questions. And then on the next one, you have multiple choice. You have a little story. In the next one, you are going to have the multiple choice, was or where, depending on the subject. In the next one, you are going to do uh, questions in past using was or where. And in the last one, you have multiple choice as well. So as you can see, unit number four is not really complicated for you to advance as well whenever you have the time. Okay, so. That was it. Para los que no la habían terminado, pues ya nos fuimos acerca de todos los ejercicios que quedaban para que lo puedan completar y les quede al 100%. So that is something very important to do. Well, before we move on, I am going to call the attendance. And I can see that most of us are here. And remember, when you listen to your name, say here or present. I am going to start with Miss Aleida. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay. Uy, ya me había. Ya me había movido todo aquí la vida. Sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Here I am. Aleida, thank you very much. Andrea Sofía. Present teacher. Blanca Alejandra. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo. Present teacher. Cesar Amaya. Present teacher. Helen Nilsson. Present teacher. Eric Jose. Present teacher. Hernan Antonio. Present teacher. Horacio Jose. Present teacher. Jose Luis Ramos. Present teacher. Juan Francisco. Carla Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Nelson Alberto. I'm here, teacher. Paola Elena. Paoleta. Eh, Rafael Alexander. Rafael Antonio. ¿Mm? Raúl Ernesto. I'm here. Thank you. Okay, Raúl, thank you. Wilber Alberto. Present teacher. Jasmine Elizabeth. Present teacher. And Magdiel, Esaú. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, I'm missing three people. Exactly the ones that I am missing in the room. Okay, I'm missing three. Alexander is teacher. very... Yeah, hello, Rafael. Present. Thank you, thank you. Ah, I was missing you, you see. Ya lo dejaba aquí sin asistencia. No, I'm kidding. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Hello, Rafael. I'm very sorry that I couldn't listen to your audio. I saw you sent me a message. Yes. Okay. <laughs> sorry, I was, I was attending your friends already. But I will listen to it in a moment. Don't worry. Well, thank you very much. Let's go and work. As I told you before, we are going to work a little bit on uh, past tense 
And welcome, please, to your class number 16. Today, I am just going to go over this very quickly. And let me share my screen with all of you. There you go. Remember, practice your English as much as possible. Ask for help whenever you need. Keep your cameras on all the time during the whole session. Keep your microphones off if you are not using them. Attend all your sessions on time. Participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude during the whole class. Collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group and for sure work on the platform every single day. Today, as we finish unit number three, I need you to go and complete it. So we are going to study a little bit of the past tense, right? We have different definitions of sentences in English, right? We have been studying a lot of the present forms, right? We have studied present simple. We have studied present continuous. We have studied a little bit of the future with going to, with will. But today we are going to focus a little bit on the past. If you think, and I always bother my students with these questions, si se ponen a pensar, es como, el presente es como un microsegundo de la vida. Because everything is either future or past. Si lo piensan, hace medio segundo, it's past. I mean, the present is just a little moment in your life. Everything is either the future or the past. Everything that already happened is past tense. In English, most of the things that you do is past tense, right? If you tell me what happened today during your day, it's past tense, right? Only if I ask you, what are you doing right now? You are going to use present continuous. Or if I tell you, what do you normally do every day? You use simple present, right? I take a shower, I go to work, I cook, I clean, right? That is present. What are you doing later? I am going to sleep, right? I am going to watch a movie. I will go to a restaurant, but it's future, right? But if I tell you, what did you do in the morning? Ah, I went to work. I was working at nine in the morning, right? That is past. So that is what we are going to be covering during these days. We're going to be reviewing a little bit about the past, okay? And when we talk about the past before uh, everything, we use all the verbs in their past tense form. I have here a lot of examples about normal activities that you do every day. A normal activity that you use in the simple present is I go to work. Pero como ya pasó, you say I went to work. I drove my car to work. I prepared coffee. I cleaned the car. I ate breakfast. I went to the bank. I went to the church. I pick up my girl at school. I had dinner. I drank milk in the morning. I read a book. I checked my phone, right? This is past. I did exercise. Or I exercised. I ate tacos, right? Because it's done. I rode my bike. I cook every day and I took a bus. All these activities are normal activities that you do but in past tense, right? Simple activities that you do every day in past. Tell me one of these activities that you have here that is true for you today. Algo de todas estas actividades que están aquí que usted la haya hecho este día. I went to my work, went. Uh, a meeting. I went to the work, I had a meeting, uh-huh. I prepared I, coffee. I, I, I prepared coffee. Uh -huh. I ate breakfast. I ate, ate breakfast. breakfast. That is something that we all did, right? I checked I my ate. phone. I checked I my phone. I went to the bank, right? I went to the bank. <clears throat> I prepared coffee. I prepared coffee, right? I so, cleaned uh -huh. the car. My I, <clears throat> I cleaned the car, right? I cleaned the car. So you went to the bank, right? Número del cliente cuatro. I, 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 <laughs> drink the 
I prepared coffee, right? I prepared coffee. I checked my phone, right? I checked my phone. Who read a book? You read a book, right? I read a book, right? In this case, who cook food? Who cook today? Good, I did it as well. Who rode a bike today? Who rode a bike or a motorcycle? No, I didn't. <laughs> Who rode a motorcycle today? No? Who drove a car? I drove my car. I drove my car. No, I didn't, right? I drove my car, you see. So these are simple activities that you do every day, but they are done. Ya estuvieron, ya pasaron. Ya murió su momento. So... The simple past is an activity that happened already and it's finished, right? It's over. An activity that it's over in the past. I have here a little practice about the past tense and I am going to read it for all of you. Here, it says, Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? <clears throat> I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. So... She was doing many things. What activities did she do? ¿Qué hizo ella en el fin de semana? Tell me activities that she did. What did she do on Saturday? ¿Qué hizo el sábado? She did exercise. exercise. She exercised in the morning, right? She exercised in the morning. What else? She did my room clean. Ah, uh -huh, you say my roommate and I. My roommate and I. Oh my God. Clean clean up. Up. Okay, she my roommate laundry, and I cleaned, did laundry, laundry and, 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 and shopped. And shopped. This is my party. Shop. And then I and visited this is my party. My parents. 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 Le voy, a poner Le voy a poner planas en nota de voz. Parents, 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 parents. Mil veces. Parents, my parents. You so you say, visited, visited. My roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, shopped, and visited my parents. What did you do on Saturday? I, parents, parents. Studied. I studied. I studied for the test all day. I studied. I studied. I studied for the test all day. Oh no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I didn't. Si se fijan, aquí tenemos un auxiliar para negativo. I didn't study. If you use the auxiliary, the verb is in the normal form. I didn't study. I just watch, I just watch television, television all, all weekend. weekend. So you say, I watch television all weekend. What is the question that he asks first? Did you have a good weekend? And it says, well, I had a BC. This is not busy, okay? It's busy. Busy como la busy, right? I had a busy weekend, right? I had a busy weekend. I was very busy. It's another word, right? Tanto busy como parents son dos palabras que sí dan un montón de problemas. I was busy teacher. And it's like, no, it's not busy. It's busy. I was busy uh, this weekend. And I feel a little tired. Tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? 
I started for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study, I just watch television all the weekend. Okay, open your microphones and you are going to help me read it, okay? Everybody, se va a ir un gran relajo, pero you are going to practice. One, two, and three. The first. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Have a good weekend. Have a good weekend. Ok, saludemos a Jennifer. Jennifer está ahí enfrente de nosotros. Nos decimos, hi Jennifer, did you have a good weekend? No, you say, hi Jennifer, did you have a good weekend? Go ahead. Ah, aquí no pasó nada, yo no oí nada. Go ahead. Okay. Hi Jennifer, did you have a good weekend? And Jennifer, it's tired, so you say, Go ahead. Well, well, I had a bit of a busy Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Go ahead. Well, I had a busy weekend. Well, I had a busy weekend. I feel a little tired. And I feel a little tired today. Y aquí nos intriga y le decimos, ¿Really? Why? Really? Why? Why? Well, well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. I exercise in the morning. Then my room and I mean, laundry, shop, and I visit my parents. My parents. My parents. My parents. My parents. Voy a traer el cincho. My parents. 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 Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and I clean, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. Go ahead. Well. So what did you do on Sunday? So, what did you do on Sunday? Okay. 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 What do you do on Sunday? What do you do on Sunday? I started for the test all day. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, he's a pantan. He's saying, Oh no, do we have a test today? Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I didn't study. I just I didn't watch television all week. I didn't watch television all weekend. Watch. 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 I just watch, watch, watch television all weekend. I just watch, watch television, television all weekend. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watch television all weekend. I just Oh no. oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watch television all weekend. All weekend, right? That's a, that's a big thing. That's a big mistake, right? I didn't study. I just watched television the whole weekend. It's a big problem. Rafael Antonio, you are going to do the conversation with me. Remember that I am not Jennifer. You have to say, hi, Nati. Go ahead. Hi, Nati. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? We... <clears throat> really? Why? Really? Why? Okay. <clears throat> Aquí no pasó nada. Aquí ustedes no han oído nada. Uh, well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. 
Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning, then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopped, and then I visited my parents. So what did you, did you do on Sunday? Um, I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I did study. I used watch a television all weekend. All weekend. <laughs> okay, thank oh, you. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Oh, no. I didn't study. Do we have a test study. I didn't study a, a test today. I didn't study a who's watched television all, all weekend. I just watch television all weekend. Hmm. Let's see if Jose Luis and Horacio started. And if she started, if they started, sorry. Let's see if Jose Luis and Horacio started for the test. Go ahead. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? La Jennifer no vino. Hi, Jose Luis. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, Jose Luis. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I have a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my woman and I clean the clean the laundry and shop, and then I visited my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I started for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Let's see if Carlos Eduardo and Raúl González started for the test. Let's see. Hi, Raúl. Do you have a, a good weekend? Well, I had a busy, uh, busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and I clean. Did, did laundry and shopping and then visit my parents. So what do you do on Sunday? Uh, I study for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study, I just watched television all weekend. You see, because you were watching the World Cup, huh? <laughs> Que la inauguración, que no sé qué, que no sé cuánto. Ah, I'm yes, very sorry. Yes, yes. Aleida en Magdiel. Let's see if you started for the exam. Hi, Magdiel. Did you have a, a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned the laundry and shopping. And then I visited my parents. My parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study, I just watched television all weekend. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Magdiel, Magdiel, you say um, cleaned, did Clean. laundry, and shopped. Shopped. Shop. And then I visited my parents. Visited my parents. Teacher, how, how pronounce uh, the verb clean, but in the past? With D at the end. Le pone D al final. You say, I cleaned. Clean. Cleaned. Clean. Yeah, okay. cleaned Clean. with the D at the end. Say, I cleaned. Right? Yeah. I shopped. Shop. Shopped es con T al final. So you say, shop. I shopped. <coughs> Be careful with the. Sorry, I. <laughs> había quitado el, 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 el micrófono y pensé que estaba en silencio. Lo que pasa es que hay un perrito que 
que creo que anda perdido y lo estoy llamando desde Ay, la puerta de la casa. Adoptémoslo. Es el perrito del grupo. Sorry, lo siento. It's okay, don't worry. Todos lo estábamos llamando. Kaiser, Kaiser. Saque un pan y ya va a llegar. Don't worry. Ya, yeah, get it, get it. Si lo rescata, le ponemos nombre, no tenga pena. Vamos a hacer una colecta aquí de pedigree. <laughs> For him. Okay, so you say shopped with the T, shopped, cleaned is with D, and visited. Visited is with ID, right? Visited. I visited my parents, right? And yeah. studied, studied. Se esconde al final, studied. And watch, esconde. So you say, I watch television all weekend. And the last one that we're going to have, Jasmine and Carla Flores. Go ahead. Hi, Jasmine. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I have a busy weekend and a fair, a light, a light, a today. Really? A little tired today. Okay. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday. I exercise in the morning. They my romance and I play the laundry and shop. Um, they have visited my my parents. Parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I study for the this all all today oh no all. sorry oh no huh yeah that's your part oh, no. do do we have a test today i didn't study i just watched television all weekend okay so you say i just watch television all weekend you say like well on saturday i exercise in the morning then my roommate and i clean did laundry and shopped and then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I started for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend, right? So that happened in the conversation. We have different forms of past tense here. If you say, did you have a good weekend? This is interrogative form. Right, interrogative form with the auxiliary did. Esta es nuestra forma interrogativa del pasado. Did you have a good weekend? And it says, well, I had a busy weekend, right? In this case, you have the verb in past, had. This is an affirmative sentence in the past, right? I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Esta, ¿qué estructura sería? When it says, I feel a little tired today this one what will this be present past future present. Present, present right because you have the phrase and you have a time phrase here that says today right and i feel a little tired today that is simple present then we continue here on saturday i exercised in the morning this is past tense in affirmative form then my roommate and I clean, did laundry, and shop. These are past tense affirmative. And then I visited my parents, past tense. What did you do on Sunday? This is a past tense form with WH. Tenemos una pregunta con WH form. Aquí no podemos decir solamente did you do on Sunday, porque la pregunta no tendría sentido. Si yo solo le digo, did you do on Sunday? ¿Mm? ¿Hiciste el domingo? Then it doesn't have any sense, right? But if I say, what did you do on Sunday? It makes sense, right? What did you do on Sunday? And it says, I started for the test all day. This is an affirmative form. Oh, no. 
Do we have a test today? This is simple present, right? Do we have a test today? I didn't study. This is a negative form in the past. El pasado tiene nada más sus complicaciones en las formas afirmativas. En las formas negativas ya no complica nada. ¿Por qué? Porque usamos los auxiliares didn't. Y didn't nos da el paso a que el verbo esté en su forma normal. I didn't study, right? You don't say I didn't study. Because if you use the auxiliary didn't, the verb is normal. I just watch television all weekend. This is the affirmative form of uh, the past. How would you make this sentence negative, people? How would you make this sentence negative? I had a busy weekend. ¿Cómo la haríamos negativa? Usando el ejemplo de I didn't study. I had not. Smart, <laughs> smart man. <laughs> but let's use the auxiliary. ¿Cómo utilizaríamos el auxiliary didn't para hacer la negativa? Vamos a ver quién se llama. I didn't have, right? Tin, tin, tin. Estrellita para ti. Okay. I didn't have, right? Oh, el corazoncito para ti. Right, I, I didn't thinking, have. Uh -huh. I was thinking in the present perfect. <laughs> yeah, I had not. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I didn't have. I didn't have a busy weekend, right? And I exercise in the morning. ¿Cómo la hacemos negativa? No, teacher. I. I didn't exercise in the morning. I didn't exercise in the morning. I cleaned the house. Nah, teacher. I didn't clean. I didn't clean. I didn't clean. Did laundry. Uh -huh. Did laundry. I didn't. I didn't do. Laundry. I didn't do. Right, didn't because do. the verb, the verb here is do in past ah. tense is did. So you say I didn't do laundry. Shopped. I. I didn't shop. I didn't shop. I visited my parents. I didn't visit. I didn't my visit. parents. I didn't visit my parents. I studied for the test all day. I didn't study. I didn't yes. study. I didn't study. Por eso estamos sufriendo, right? I didn't study for the test. I am very sorry, teacher. Right? I didn't study for the test all day. So, in the past tense, we have two forms. We have the regular forms on which you add ed to the verbs, and we have the irregular forms on which we, sorry, uh, Rafael, I was just muting your out. And we have the irregular forms on which the verb changes completely, right? Because uh, the most complicated ones are maybe the regular forms because of the pronunciation. But the irregular ones, you need to know them, right? Los irregulares sí necesitan un poquito más de estudio, un poquito más de repaso para que nos recordemos cuál es la forma del verbo en pasado, okay? Y no andemos inventando el verbo goed because the past tense of go is went. Right? I go to the movies, teacher. No, say I went to the movies, right? So uh, I have here a couple of examples, right? In the spelling form of the verbs, you add ed to most of them, right? So you have here, for example, uh, watch, watch, exercise, watch. exercise. Yeah. If the verb already finishes in e, you only add the d. Ok, si ya termina en E, no le va a poner otra ED. No, exercise. Es que la teacher dijo que todas llevan ED. No, ED is the ending. But if you have an E on the verb, for example, like exercise, you only put the D. Ok, exercise ED. No, only the D. Studied, stayed, 
shopped. Shopped, uh, we have to double the P because we have consonant, vowel, consonant form, okay? And here we have some other examples, right? If the base form, you add the ED form of the verb, walked, played. The verbs ending in E, you add the D, right? You add the D form of the verb. Liked, moved. If the verb ends in a consonant in Y, you add IED, carried. If the verb changes in, uh, finishes in Y, you change the Y and add ED, right? Started. Some verbs ending in a single consonant, you have to double the last consonant. Plan, planned. Stop, stopped, right? You have to double the letter and add ED. And these are for most of the regular forms, right? And I have here some examples, right? I have here some examples of this. In these ones, to all the ones that you have in the first column, you only add ED, right? And you have listen, listened, cook. Don't say cook it, okay? Say cook. Listen, cook. Look, looked, called, called with D, walked, played, helped, opened, watched, painted, jumped, played, brush, followed. Good. These ones that end in E, you only put the D. Hello. Okay, a todos estos que ya terminan en E, solo les agrega la letra D. And you say closed, liked, lived, shared, used, De. saved, loved, moved. All these ones that end in mm -hmm. Y. Todos estos que terminan en Y. Y vamos a agregar I, E, D. So you say cried, fried, tried, dried, studied, carried, married, copied. And in these ones, todos estos que están aquí, se hace una double consonant. Skipped, stopped, pinned, clapped, hoped, tipped. What is the meaning of hope? Vamos a ver quién se la sabe esa. What is the meaning of hope? Like jump. Jump, right? Lo que hacen los conejitos. They hope. Okay, saltar, brincar, right, hope. And all these ones you add ed. You double the consonant and add ed. A todos estos les va a poner una extra letra aquí al final. Pint con otra n, clap con otra p, hope con otra p, zip con otra p, right? And skip with another p, exactly like this, right? Skipped. In the form of irregular verbs, right? Here I have, uh, okay, before I move in the irregulars, I think I am going to go here. Vamos a hacer aquí, vamos a violentar las reglas. Wait, wait, wait. I have here this little chart that is going to help you not to fight with these sounds and pronunciation. Todos los verbos que en su forma regular terminan en T o en D se pronuncian id. Wanted, needed. En su, en su forma regular termina en D, en su forma regular termina en T. Al agregarle ED, suena como id. Wanted, needed. Ok. You don't say want, need. No, right? Wanted, needed. Suena como una extra sound, right? And here, I think I have more examples that I will show you later. Well, but let's move on this one. <clears throat> All the ones that in the normal form finish in P, in K, in SH, in CH, in G, in TH, SS, C, or X that are voiceless sound like T. So you say helped, looked, 
washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. Practice the t -t 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 sound with me. T -t -t. <laughs> Somos como un pequeño serpiente ahorita. It sounds like a uh, old car. <laughs> Exacto. Es chistoso, pero funcional. Se dice... Si alguna vez... No. <laughs> Ese es otro. Ese es otro sonido para otro propósito. No, that's another thing. So you say... Helped. Looked. Washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. Read them with me. A ver si le sale el t sound. Help. 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 It requires a little practice, but it's good, right? It's difficult. It is difficult, yeah, but now you know the difference. Uh -huh. uh, do you remember I have the problem with the pronunciation of the kind of songs <laughs> yeah but you know it it is a matter of practice it is a matter of practice por eso siempre les digo si tienen la oportunidad de agarrar un libro en inglés y leerlo en voz alta ahí se dan cuenta de cómo esto ayuda cómo ayuda a pronunciarlo irlo leyendo despacio right i helped my mother with the cleaning for example right i took i looked outside the window right I washed my car. I watched a movie. Right? I laughed a lot with her. I kissed my dog in the head. Right? I danced a lot with my sister. We fixed the TV. Right? And then you create sentences and then you create paragraphs and then you create stories. But you go little by little. These ones, the ones that end in all these letters, L, N, R, G, V, S, W, Y, and Z. These are voiced sounds. So you say, I called, called, the, the sounds like, the, 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 I called my mom. I cleaned the house. I offered help. I damaged the car. I loved, I used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. With the the, the 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 sound. Practice with me. Cold. 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 Which one? The the damage. Ah. Yeah. Damage with the D sound at the end. Damage. It is, you say damage. 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 With the D sound at the end. Say cold. 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 Cleaned. Cold. Cleaned, offered, offered, offered. damaged, damaged. damaged. Loved. loved, loved, used, used, used. followed, followed. Enjoyed. enjoyed, enjoyed, amazed, amazed. Practice it along, okay? By ahora ustedes solitos. Vamos con esto with the T sound. Helped. Vamos. Okay. Help. Help. Look. Look. Watch. 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 Cold, cleaned, cleaned, damaged, loved, followed, 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 follow
Okay, enjoy. Amazed. 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 Okay, erase the E sound. You don't pronounce the E. In the so you say followed. Followed. Follow. Enjoyed. Enjoyed. Amazed. Amazed. Damaged. Enjoyed. Damaged. So you erase it. You say offered. Amazed. You don't say offered. So you say offered. Cleaned. Cleaned. Cold. Cold. Right, it's a matter of practice, right? You have to yeah. practice and practice and practice. Yeah. But this is a tip, right? ¿Ya habían escuchado este tip de las tres diferentes formas? Si no, miren, no. se lo vine a regalar este. Not the first one with the ID. No. With the ID, right? Mm -hmm. Here I have a little bit more practice on each of them. And in this one, how do you pronounce this one? As the e sound, so you say suggest, teeth, voted, waited, wanted, shouted, hunted, adopted, accepted, painted, contacted, hated, included, landed, needed. Go ahead. Practice, practice. Uh huh. Suggested. 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 Bought it. Bought it. Wanted. Wanted. Shouted. Hunted. Hunted. Adopted. Adopted. Accepted. Painted. Contacted. Hated. Hated. Included. Landed. Landed. Needed. 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 Right? Needed. Needed. What about the next one? I'm going to move it to move it right here. Needed. 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 This one is with D, right? Say lived. 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 Climbed. 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 Wow. Waved. 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 Arrived. 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 Listen. Stored. Toured. 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 Acuérdense Toured. que ahí como que, como que le quitara la E de la vida y solo decimos toured. Listen. Toured. Considered. Considered. Traveled. 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 Rescued. Rescued. Happened. 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 It's easier, right? So you say lived. Climbed. Lived. Owned. Climbed. Waved. Arrived. Cleared. Started. Right? Solo imagínense que no tiene la And it, it's easier to pronounce. And in the next one, in the next form that we have here, this is with the T sound, right? With the T sound. So you say, what about the first one here? So you say, announced. Announced. Cooked. Announced. Cooked. Cooked. Walked. 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 Talked. 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 Finished. 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 Typed. 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 Laughed. 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 Rushed. 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 Liked. Liked. Attacked. 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 Fue más difícil o fue más fácil? It was easier. So you say announced. Announced. Cooked. Attacked. Walked, yeah. talked, Talk. finished, finished, typed, typed, typed. laughed, laughed, laughed. brushed, announced, crashed, crashed, crashed. worked, Walk. liked, uh, liked, liked, attacked, attacked, attacked. 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 <laughs> it is not that complicated, right? Ya hoy es la segunda vez, ya no les costó tanto. Let's see. I am going to ask for different volunteers. Vamos a ver. ¿Quién se quiere lanzar al ruedo de leerlos? Okay. 
don't be afraid. I mean, practice makes perfection. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mr. Raul. And then Magdiel. Go okay. ahead. Which okay. ones do you want to read, Raul? ¿Cuáles escoge? Le voy a dar todavía el, 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 la opción first. de que escoja. The so, first one. <laughs> yeah. So just okay. both wait. Okay. One and time. Time. Time out. <laughs> okay. You say suggest. Did, voted, waited, wanted. Recuerde que con el sonido de id hacemos dos sílabas. So you say suggested. Hagamos de caso que aquí a la par, imagínense que le pusiera aquí, suggested. Ok. Ajá. Go ahead. Suggested, bought it, waited, wanted, shot it, haunted, adopted. Accepted, paid it, contacted, hated, hated. Hate, hate, hate es la forma normal. So you say hated. Hated, included, 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 landed, needed. Very good. Okay. <laughs> And you got it. <laughs> it. It's hard, right? That's why I said. ¿Quién se quiere quebrar el, el tiro de repetirlo? <laughs> Magdiel, which ones do you want to practice? Sound D. The D sound. This is easy, right? Remember that you don't have the E. Haga de caso que la E no existe. Read it. Es una sola sílaba en este caso. So you say? Okay. Lived. Climbed. 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 La E suena como I, right? Climbed. Climbed. Phone. Wave. Wave. Arrived. Clear. Study. Listen. Torn. Consider. Traveled. Stayed. Rescued. Rescued. Happen. Happen. Rescued. Happen. Very good job. Very good job. <laughs> I need one volunteer for the T sound. El más difícil. Go Thank ahead. You, sure. Go ahead, Evelyn Nielsen. Okay. Announced, cooked, walked, talked, finished, typed. Laughed. Okay. Sorry. Laughed, brushed, crushed, worked, light, attacked. Very good job, very good job. You did a very nice job. Mr. Raul Alexander, I know it's difficult for you. I need you to practice. Which ones do you want to practice? Your enemy, the T, the D, or the easy one, E? Uh-huh. Mr. Raúl Alexander, ¿cuál? <laughs> it, uh, it, it, it's, I, I, will, I will have you practice your enemy, ¿ok? Practiquemos a su enemigo, la T. <clears throat> The microphone is off. Which teacher? Which one? Raúl Alexander. Raúl, Raúl, ay, es lelo. Ya ven, por eso no se enamoren. Uno confunde los nombres. Rafael Alexander, go ahead. Ah. Ah, 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 ah. Ok. Y es para ver si estaban poniendo atención, ya ven. Ah. So close. So close. So very close. Ok. Ok. Announced. Cooked. Walked. Walked. Uh, walked. Talked. Finished. Typed. Laughed. Brushed. 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 Crushed. Worked. Light. Attacked. <laughs> <laughs> Complicated but not impossible. Complicated but yeah. not impossible. Let's see. But it was good. You did a good job. Let's see. Carlita Flores. Practice the sound id. Dos sílabas, recuerden. Suggested. Vamos a hacer este primero, este de aquí. Sí, sí, suggested. 
So just it. Bought it. Bought it. Bought it. Bought it. it. Want it. Shoot it. Shouted. Shouted. Haunted. Haunted. Adopted. Accepted. Painted. Contacted. Hated. Included. 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 Land, included. Landed. Needed. And needed. Very good job. You did a very good job. Very nice. Now, let's see. Aleida. The D sound. The easy one. Live, uh -huh. climb, found, waved, arrived, cleared, studied, uh -huh. listen, listen, listened, good, heard, toured, heard. Uh -huh. considered, 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 considered traveled. traveled Escape, rescue, rescue, re and rescue, and happened. Happened, right? Happened. Happened. Practice is the only way that we are going to do it. Okay, it is complicated, but it's not impossible, right? We are going to practice a little bit more. I think I have here a different form of practicing. I have here. Most of these ones, we're going to jump in the second part, right? We're going to jump in the second part of these ones are our friends, the irregular ones. The irregular forms of the verbs are easier because they have their specific forms, okay? Lo bueno de los irregulares es que no tienen pronunciación diferente. They have a specific pronunciation. Cada uno tiene su pronunciación específica. And in these ones, for example, these ones are my favorite. These ones are my favorite from all the irregulars. Esos son mis favoritos de todos los irregulares. Because they don't change. Bet, bet, burst, burst, cost, cost, cut, cut, feet, feet, hit, hit. They don't change. Este es el grupo de los que no se complicaron la vida, right? Ay, dejémoslos iguales. And they don't change. In present or in past, the verb is the same. So you don't say, put it, read it, said it. No, you say, eh, read, read. Maybe the pronunciation is different, right? Read, read, put, put, let, let, hit, hit, fit, fit, cut, cut, cost, cost, bet, bet. Bet is apostar, right? I bet, but you did it. Set, shut, split, spread. They don't change. These ones are the ones on the N and the T uh, group. All of these ones finish in T. And they say, for example, they go from the present form of bent, bent, build, built, burn, burnt, deal, dealt, dream, dreamt, feel, felt, keep, kept, right? Learn, learned, leave, left, lend, lent, light, lit, lose, lost, mean, meant, meet, met, shot, uh, shoot, shot, spend, spent. All these ones finish in T, right? From the irregulars, we have the an, un. In these ones, we have Begin, began. Drink, drank. Run, run. Ring, run. Sing, sang. Sink, sank. Swim, swam. Spring, sprang. Right? All these ones are irregulars and they finish in NG forms. Here we have another category of irregulars that finish in W, right? Blue, flu, grew, new, through. All these ones finish in GHT. Esta es la categoría de la GHT. Brought, bought, caught. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Kiara is drinking all the water of the world. Oh my God. 
<laughs> Wait, give me a second. No estoy segura si ustedes oyen todos mis ruidos, pero bueno. Oían todo el ruido que estaba haciendo la quiera. No, teacher. No. Ah, that's so good. Ah, qué buen micrófono. Thank you very much. Yeah, she was drinking all the water of the world. She was like. And she was making a lot of noise. And I said like, okay. What's going on? Yeah. Kiara tiene una, una cuestión específica para tomar agua. Tiene un guacal gigante. Pero ella mete toda su cara para tomar agua. And it's like. So I, I thought that you were listening to all that noise. But I, I love my microphone. Very good job. So in this one, you say GHT. Brought, bought, caught, fought, sought, taught, and thought. All these categories are the GHT categories. ¿Por qué se los separé por categorías? Es más fácil acordarse de las categorías que de todo el listado de verbos irregulares. Si les mando una lista de todos los irregulares, los voy a frustrar en medio segundo. So I could you send us the yeah, for this one. For this one, I have a page. Okay, eso los tengo okay. todos en una página. Ya se los voy a compartir. I and, did a, a challenge for 30 days about the, the verbs. Verb. Yeah, every day I try to, to write the different forms. And, I remember so so, but that is a very good practice. It is a very good practice. I always recommend uh, from five to ten each day. Siempre se los recomiendo que se aprendan diez cada día. Y que ahí les anden dando duro los mismos días todo el día. Y que ahí los carguen así como bring broth, buy boat, catch cut, fly fought, uh, fight fought, seek thought, teach thought, think thought. Y ahí anden, dándole duro a 10 cada día. It is not, it is a little bit complicated at the beginning, but then every day it's like, hey, 10 more, 10 more, 10 more. And then you are like, oh, this is um, my list. oh, what a beautiful thing. You have your list. Ah, still. But I they have three, three columns uh -huh. and all the verbs. <laughs> Ah, oh, but that is, that is a very good practice, indeed. Puede parecer old-fashioned, pero nunca pasa de moda, right? It is good. It is good that you practice. Now there are many other easy ways to practice, but that is a very good one. It is a very good one. And here we have the end, the the verbs that end in a. Uh, <clears throat> In the past participle in en, right? So you say bit, bit, bitten, bite, bit, bitten, break, broke, broken, choose, chose, chosen, drive, drop, driven, eat, ate, eaten, fall, fell, fallen, forbid, forbade, forbidden, forgive, forgave, forgiven, freeze, frost, frozen, let it go, give, gave, given, Hid, hid, hidden, right, a road, a reading, right? So there you have the forms of the verbs. Okay, just. Teacher, I have a question. What's the difference about the three? Ah. Uh, first in the simple form. And then you have simple past, and this one is for past participle. Este es pasado participio. Okay. You are going to see. It. This is for present perfect. This is for the present perfect. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. Sorry, I'm back. <laughs> I was fighting with someone here. So in this case, you have for simple uh, form of the verb. This one you have past tense and this is for present perfect, right? In this case, when you say, for example, I was bitten uh, 
by a dog, for example. Or I have been bitten by a dog. He sido mordida por un perro, right? I have been bitten. I have a, what? I have fallen from a tree many times. Right, I have frozen all the food already. So this is for uh, the present perfect thing and the past participle. This is the past participle form and this is the simple present of it, right? But this is another $5 that we are going to fight later on. Okay, ahorita vamos a pelear con el simple past. Después peleamos con el present perfect. So here, that's the difference. That's the main difference. And in these ones, in all this category, it finishes in EN, right? See, saw, seen. Shake, shook, shaken. Speak, spoke, spoken. Steal, stole, stolen. Take, took, taken. Wake, walk, walken. And write, wrote, written. Those are the forms of these ones. And in the last category that we have are the other verbs, right? These ones have their specific forms. Esos son los rebeldes. Because they changed completely. And you say come, came, come. Do, did, done. Draw, drew, drawn. Go, went, gone. Green, ground, ground. Hang, hung, hung. Is. Is es el más rebelde de todos. Porque puede ser was or were. Depending on the subject. And been is in the perfect, right? Lie, lay, lane, make, made, made. Uh, we have su, suit, son, shine, shun, shun, show, showed, shun, A stick, stuck, stuck, A sting, que es como picar, sting, stung, stung, A strike, struck, struck, swear, swore, sworn, tear, tore, torn, wear, wore, worn, and win, and won. This is the last category, okay? Todas estas categorías que les mostré están en la misma página que les voy a enviar en un momentito para que las tengan. Lo pueden imprimir ahí como la versión de Raúl for you to have it ready there. So in this ones, I have here a lot of verbs. What will be the form of past of all of them? Agree. Do you uh, consider that this is a regular verb or an irregular verb? Analyze them. Do you think that all of them are regular or irregular? I don't know, but I think it's a regular verb. Uh -huh. What about the rest? Creen que todos son regulares o irregulares? Mm -hmm. Regulars. All of them are regulars, yeah. right? Yeah. All of them are regulars. So in yeah. all these cases, what you had to do is to add ED to the end. So you say agreed, answered, arrived, asked, believed, called, carried, clean, climbed, completed, created, changed, check, hug, died, dried, ended, enjoyed, filled, fixed, right? And to all of them, you have to add E, D, or D. What will be the past tense of this category that we have here? Let's work on this one. Give me the past tense of this one. What is the past tense of this one? Lived. 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 What about this one? Ah, that's lived. good. Lived and lived, what is the difference? What is the difference between lived and lived? Live is when uh, you make a TV show or program, I don't know. Aha, uh -huh. en vivo, mm -hmm. right? When you say live, is en vivo. But if you say lived, is vivió, right? That's the difference. Por cuando tenemos, por ejemplo, un Facebook Live, que es un Facebook que está transmitiéndose en vivo, right? And when you say, I lived in, uh, I don't know, in 
Santa Ana for 10 years. Yo vivía, yeah. Right? What is the past tense of this one? Looked. Looked. What about this one? Matched. Matched. Copied. Copied. What about this one? Uh, moved. 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 This one? Needed. 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 This one? Opened. 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 This one? Pride. 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 Listen. Listen. Past. 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 What about this one? Land. 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 Played. 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 Practice. 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 Playing. Protect. Protect. Playing. Protect. So you say played. Played. Practice. Sold. 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 Rest. 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 Todos Rest. los terminados Rest. en T Rest. y en D. ¿Qué Rest. pasa? Rest. 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 Todos los que terminan en D Rest. o en T es doble sílaba. Rest. Rest. Stop. 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 Mary tried. tried. Used. 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 Waited. 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 Walked. 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 Admitted. Admitted. Good. Washed. 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 Watch. 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 And exactly like this, Happen. you can grab a couple of verbs, okay? Pueden agarrar una serie de verbos en pasado, regular, recordarse de la tablita, ir diciéndolos ahí, hey, this is with T, this is with D, happened, cold, damage, right? So it helps, it helps a lot for you to practice, right? So this is the easiest version of this one. When you have sentences with the verb to be, with the verb to be, is or are, you transform for was or where. Es como el ejercicio que hicimos al principio en la plataforma. So this is like the easiest version. When you transform sentences with is or are to the past tense, was or where. They were friends. ¿Cuál sería la forma de simple present de esta oración? They are friends. They are friends. But in past tense, you say, no, no, no. Ya no se hablan. They were friends. They weren't friends. What will be the present form of this one? They are not. They weren't. They are not. They are not. They are, they are not. not. Good. They are not friends. They weren't friends. Ya no son, right? They weren't friends. That is the uh, past tense of these ones. And for the questions, for the questions in this case, we will say, were they friends? Were they friends? friends. It's like, uh, fueron amigos, eran amigos, right? And in the normal form would be, are they friends? That would be the simple present form, right? Are they friends? And in the past tense, were they friends? Yes, they were friends, but they don't, they are not friends anymore. And in the form of all the rest of the verbs, okay, <coughs> este cambio es solamente para el verbo to be, okay? Esta parte de aquí, la que estábamos hablando. Este es solo para el verbo to be, okay? Was and were. Ese es el verbo principal de las oraciones. Pero en el caso de todos los otros verbos, el otro verbo es el, el agente principal. Can you say, she worked yesterday. One of the most common mistakes, uno de los errores más comunes que yo veo en el aprendizaje del idioma es que la gente hace esto. She was work. Este es uno de los errores más comunes que veo yo en todas las clases. Y aquí que tenemos en este caso. 
tenemos doble pasado. Doble pasado. <risa> well, <risa> depends, right? <risa> Hay muchos que también tienen doble paso. <risa> She well. was work. No. Ella fue trabajado. It's not possible. So you say, she worked, okay, yesterday. She worked in the morning, right? She didn't work. The complicated part is in the affirmative sentences. The negatives and the questions are easy because you have the auxiliary. She didn't work. Y el verbo vuelve a su forma normal. And did she work? The verb is in the normal form. So you have to be very careful in the affirmative sentences in the past, okay? Because this is where the main problems are. Esa es la que da más problemas. Pero de ahí para allá, it's kind of easy to uh, develop them. I have here, and let me just show you a little example of a conversation in the past tense. And I have it here for all of you. We're going to work on this first one. Okay. Yes, this one is. We are going to work on this one. I have another conversation as an example here. Okay. And it says, hey, Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Did you attend the training last week? A question in the normal form with the auxiliary. Did you attend? El verbo está normal porque tenemos auxiliary do. Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. This is the verb to be, right? The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. Sounds great. Tell me everything about it. Was it difficult? Was it difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. Wasn't. Wasn't is the negative form of was. Okay. And the negative form of where is weren't, right? Well, it wasn't that difficult but it was very challenging many international speakers came no kidding who were the speaking who were the speakers uh let's see andrew Jones johnson from england and magali sanini from brazil i love mrs sanini she was the first international ceo to visit our company two years ago you're right when you say no kidding it's like <gasps> No fregues, de verdad, right? No kidding, nombre. That's the expression that we will have in Spanish, right? Sí, de verdad, qué chivo, no fregues, qué bonito. Who were the speakers? Ah, oh, Andrew Johnson from England and Megali Sanini from Brazil. I love Mrs. Sanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You're right. So in this case, we have the use of the verb to be in this conversation. Practice it with me, people. Hey, Lorna, how are you? Hey, Lorna, how hey, are you? Lorna. Hey, Lorna. Hey, Lorna. Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Did you attend the training you last week? Very good. Training. Did you, you attend the training, training last week? Yes, week? I did. Lana, yes, I did. Yeah, the training know. was awesome. Lana, Lana yes. yes. I did. The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. It was at the new hotel. Okay. <laughs> In this case, in the first part, you say, hey, Lorna, how are you? Como que te la encontras en el pasillo, right? Hey, Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? And you say, Lana, yes. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I not, ¿qué tal? <laughs> yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was at a new hotel. Okay. Sounds great. 
Sounds, Sounds great. great. Sounds great. Tell, Tell me everything, everything about, about it. it. What was, was, was it difficult? Was it difficult? Was it difficult? <laughs> was it difficult? <laughs> well, it wasn't that difficult. Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. It was very challenging. But it was very challenging. It was very challenging. Many international speakers, international speakers came. came. Many international speakers came. No kidding. No kidding. No kidding. Who were the speakers? Who were the speakers? speakers. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, Andrew, Andrew Johnson, Johnson from England and Magali Zanini from Brazil. from Brazil. I love Mrs. Zanini. I love, I love Mrs. Zanini. She was the, she was the first international company two years ago. Company. Years ago. Company. You, are you are right. You are right. You are right. She was right. the first. The first. First, entra en la categoría de parents lived, visited, and uh, what was the other one? ¿Cuál fue la otra? I don't remember. Ah, so you say first. First. It's not first, okay? It's not first. It's first. First. I love Mrs. Zanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company, our company, two years ago. You're right. So in this case, how does Lorna describe the training? How was the training, people? How was the training? It was awesome. She said. It was awesome, she was said. Awesome. <laughs> Was it difficult? It was it difficult. It wasn't difficult, right? When was the first time Mrs. Anini came to the ladies' company? When uh, was the years ago? She came. International. She came two years ago, right? She came. Two years ago, she was the first international CEO to visit the company two years ago. Where did the training take place? Where did at the, the training... hotel? At the hotel, right? Where? It I means the place. I don't remember the name. No, it doesn't say. It says at a new... At the new, at the new at hotel. The new hotel. Right? right? At Intercontinental. <laughs> Where did the training take place? At a hotel, right? It was at a hotel. So in this case, as I was explaining you before, we have here the past tense of be, right? This is the introduction to the easiest part. We talk about situations, I, he, she, and it use was. We, they, and you use where. So you say, the training was very helpful. Como lo haríamos en simple present? The training. The training is very, is the very, training helpful. Is very helpful. All the employees. Ella dio la respuesta. Ella dio la respuesta. Good, Blanquita. Very nice. Ya ves. Hasta la niña está aprendiendo. Me encanta. No, but she say, are. <laughs> All the employees are happy to attend, right? Me encanta. <laughs> que avanzado, que avanzado. I love when the babe speaks. Yeah, I love her too. And she gave the correct answer. Ya ve, al año ella aprende inglés. I like it. It was not or it wasn't difficult. We were not and we weren't unwilling to yeah. help. What is the meaning of unwilling? What is the meaning of unwilling? Disposición. Que no está ah, disponible. No está dispuesto. Ajá. Uh -huh. Estábamos indispuestos. Sí, dispuesto. Indispuestos. Así como, no, che, no, que lo haga la teacher. Unwilling to help. We were uh -huh. not unwilling to help. Eso quiere decir que todos estaban colaborando. We were not unwilling to help. So this is the form of 
was and where. This is the verb to be. Para I, he, she, and it, vamos a usar was. Para we, you, and they, where. Y esta es la forma de is, y esta es la forma de are. So you have the two forms of verbs. Here I have the final example that we are going to do for today. Este es el último ejercicio que vamos a hacer ahora. And we have a short story about Maria, Mary for my American friends. Okay. En realidad es Maria, pero aquí le pusimos Mary. Mary went to a training where? ¿A dónde fue María? En Guatemala. In Guatemala. When? In Guatemala. Last, she last, the last Tuesday. Tuesday. Last Tuesday. Tuesday. How was the training? It was interesting. It was interesting. interesting. And because she learned. Uh -huh. She how learned to how to fix. How to fix the equipment. The equipment. She, she uses she she and how to prevent, how to prevent damages, damages on, on it. The presenter was, was really, really was helpful, helpful and he clarified, and he clarified all the doubts. Doubt. Mary has, the has. presenter was very, was really helpful and he clarified all doubts Mary had. He used a computer to present examples during the speech. So let's read the story. Mary went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she uses and how to prevent damages on it. The presenter was really helpful and he clarified all doubts Mary had. He used the computer to present examples during the speech. A ver, leámoslo todos. Go ahead. Mary. Mary, new words or new vocabulary palabras nuevas que encontremos aquí before we continue speech a speech a speech is the presentation that you give el discurso that is the speech Right, he used a computer to present examples during the speech. Usó una computadora para presentar ejemplos durante su discurso. Any other one? Doubts. Doubts. Doubt. Uh, doubt. Doubt. Dudas. Teacher, I have a doubt, you say. Tengo una duda. Teacher, I have a doubt. Okay, that's doubt, una duda. I have a doubt, students. How was the training? It was very interesting. It was interesting. En una oración completa, ¿cómo lo diríamos? The training, the training was interesting. interesting. When was the training? The training was last Tuesday. Last Tuesday. Last Tuesday. Did you like it? Did you like the training? Yes, I like the training. Yes, yes I like yes, it. Really helpful. Yes, it like was. It. Yes, I liked it. It was really helpful. helpful. Very good. It was really helpful. What did you learn? What did you learn on the training, people? She learned. Huh? She, she learned how to fix the equipment. How to fix yes. the equipment. Very, uh, adult. She learned how to fix the equipment and how to prevent damage. damages damage. on it. Okay. And was the presenter helpful? Was the presenter helpful? 
Yes. Yes, yes. he was. He, the presenter was. was really helpful, right? Yes, he was. And the last one, did he use examples? Yes, he yes. used yes. computers yes. to present yes. examples. Yes, present examples during, during the, the speech. speech. During the speech. The speech. Okay. Today was a very hard day, I know. Yo sé que este día fue pesado con todo el conocimiento que les puse en su cerebro en dos horas. But, sorry, <laughs> I am like that. It is good, okay? We're going to keep practicing during the rest of the days about past tense, right? We're going to practice a lot. So please, I am going to send you the lists right now after the class. Keep an eye on them, okay? Keep an eye on them because we will use them, okay? And it is going to be very helpful for all of you. Well, my dear class, I am going to call the attendance and you can go to sleep when you listen to your name, okay? So, um, I have here, Aleida. Present no, no, no. Have a good Thank night. Thank you, have a very beautiful Bye. night. Have a good night. Andrea Sofia. Present okay. teacher. Have a good no. night. Blanca good Alejandra. Night, teacher. Present teacher. Good Thank night. You. Have a good night. Carlos Eduardo. Present teacher. Have a good beautiful night. night. Cesar Amaya. Present teacher. Have a good night. Ellen Nielsen. Present teacher. Have a good night. Have a good night. Eric Hernandez. Present teacher. Good night. Have a good night. Hernan Antonio. Present teacher. Have a good night. Mr. Good Horacio. Night. Present teacher. Thank you. Have a good night, Jose Luis. Present teacher. Have a beautiful night. Let's continue. Juan Francisco. Carlita Guadalupe. Hi, teacher. Good Thank night. you. Have a good night, Nelson. I'm here, teacher. Have, Have a, a beautiful night. night, Paola Elena. Oh, she didn't come today, but have a good night. Rafael Alexander. Listen, teacher. Have a beautiful night. Rafael Antonio. Good night, teacher. Good I night. Am... You, are going, am... you are going to stay with My me for a couple of minutes. Yeah, you, you have your one-on-one -on -one with me. So okay, good. No problem. No good night right now. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see. Uh, Ra <laughs> Raul like Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Have a good night, Wilber. Have a good Present night, teacher. Wilber. Thank, uh, you. thank you for the list. Don't worry, I will send it to you in a second. Jasmine and Magdiel. Have a good night, you Present too. Teacher. Present teacher. Thank you. Have a beautiful night. Thank I'm you. going see to see you tomorrow. you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Mr. Rafael Antonio, thank you very much for staying with me in this couple of minutes okay so mr rafael thank you very much for staying in this one-on-one -on -one. okay the purpose of the one-on-one -on -one is to meet you a little bit more and to see your necessities with the language okay el propósito de quedarnos en esta reunión chiquitita al final es para que, pues, usted me comente un poquito cómo se ha sentido en las clases, qué le han parecido, eh, cómo se ha desarrollado en las clases, cómo le ha ido en su trabajo de la plataforma y en general, pues, si le puedo colaborar en algo en específico acerca del idioma, eh, en qué skill cree que se le dificulta más, ya sea listening, speaking, reading or writing, para que yo pueda colaborarle en esa área de práctica. Así que, Rafael, le dejo el micrófono a usted. The microphone. No le oigo. I am, I'm sorry. No I am word. listening. <laughs> um, but I am a racer for Lido. I am, I like for speak for me. I understand Lido. In my, in my, in my work, the American people, uh, it's the biggest, it's biggest body is that in this. <laughs> I am the, I am practicing for the Nilsson uh -huh. and Santos and Javier. Uh -huh. But it, I, I, I like, I like the classes for you. It's especially for the, the teachers, but it's 
as how are and the class is good, but I depend for me come back here that my finish the work. <laughs> I'm sorry for me, me I finished my work and seven p.m. and CSL Comalapa come back here the bus work down the, the San Salvador come back my home in the bus. I, I walk for twenty five minutes. Oh my god! But for, yeah, but I even here in my here in my home is the only the, my my daughter. I need a table for table for the classes in my son on my grandson and the, <laughs> my me. Uh, but it's, uh, I am happy for the every day I hear my in the in the in the class. Okay, that's so that that makes me feel very happy every that, day that I know that I least, like. <laughs> thank you. I am very glad that you like the classes. And I have seen the effort that you are doing, right? I have seen the effort that you are doing. I have seen that you have improved your language. Okay. Yeah. He, he visto el cambio que ha tenido desde el día que, que empezamos hasta este día. Pues que dicen, no, pero ha pasado que han pasado alrededor de 16, 17 clases. Pero eh, yo he visto el cambio en, en usted. Ya me ordena un poco más Thank las ideas. You. Ya me hace mejores I, laboraciones. I am simple. I am simple for in the tour for the English. That's I need the, the class. That's very good. Yeah. And uh -huh. in, the, in the past Friday, I am sick. Uh, yeah, Tuesday I, and Friday, I. Yeah, I'm sorry for in in, in the current. To, it's crazy. But in Saturday, I go to the the the. Antigua Guatemala for the, I, in, I, in the, in the tourists. Yes. In, in the, I am, yeah, in, in the, 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 my boss is my page, the, the travel. I need the driver Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> but yeah. Sunday, come back here in Salvador, I go to the, my work tonight. Oh my God. <laughs> you had to work yeah, on well. Sunday as well. But you know, uh, I know that you use English a lot in your job and that is going to be very helpful right and something that i really like is that you are not afraid of practicing right esa es una parte muy buena que usted Thank no you. tiene miedo a practicarlo and that's good because even if um, you, if you make a mistake if you, it's okay it's okay to practice because we practice and we learn from our mistakes, right? So, Rafael, in general, what do you consider is the most difficult part of English for you? An eraser. Uh huh. Writing. Writing, yes. Erasing it. <laughs> borrar. Okay, writing. Writing no, is the most writing. difficult part. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what about uh, what type of activities do you do to practice? ¿Y qué actividades hace para practicar esta parte? Uh, only talk and listen. Uh -huh. Only talk and listen. So if you have difficulties with the uh, written uh, part, uh -huh. I'm ready in the book oh you got a the book Yonenon, the, oh, good. the life the Yonenon. that's good that's good you know that I, is... I remember you 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 talk for the for me the 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 remember the price for the 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 listening the studio i study the play. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. To read the books. And if you can read them aloud, that's even better. Si de repente puede agarrar el libro, agarre una página y váyase leyéndola en voz alta. Try to read it. Vaya leyendo frase por frase en voz, en voz alta. Vaya deteniéndose en cada puntuación yeah. y ahí puede ir practicando. That is going to be very helpful. And you can uh, find new words, okay? Cada, yeah, palabra, yeah, cada yes. palabra nueva que encuentra, investigate it, okay? In, uh, yeah, the, the check. Investigate and check. 
Ok, okay. Yo, lo, yo lo que hago para no manchar el libro, le pongo un post-it y ahí escribo la palabra nueva. It's my work in my American people. Nothing for you anymore. So, so please, yeah, if you find new words o en su cuaderno, puede irlas anotando. In my work, the box, uh -huh. inside the box, the more, more the, the, the books. So take advantage of them. I, I yeah. know, I know they have a lot of books there. So practice, finish it, finish one book and then read another one and then read another one. Reading is going to help you a lot with writing. Eh, la lectura le va a ayudar mucho en la parte de la escritura porque eh, va a adquirir nuevo vocabulario, nuevas palabras, nuevas estructuras y ahí le puede ir ayudando mucho en la parte escrita. So, Rafael, let's keep practicing. Okay. Keep practicing your vocabulary, keep practicing your English. You. Now that we are going to practice yeah. in the past. You, you want you your words uh, next one. Avenida Olympic for you, you work. Yeah, I work near Avenida Olympica. I am living for uh, next behind the Funeral de la Fuerza Armada. Oh, yeah, really? I am good, I am, yeah, I am work my super, super selecto in 10 minutes in my home. Yeah. <laughs> my, well, the place that I work is yes. next to Clau Canela. Have you seen the restaurant? Oh, Clau Canela. Well, you live in San no, I you live. live in, in San yeah, I live see, here. See, see. I live here in San Salvador, but I I work near uh, Avenida Olímpica. Uh, Clau Canela is in the esquina. It's, it's good. Uh -huh. Good it's a, restaurant. It's a good restaurant. So I work next to it. Mm -hmm. Mi trabajo está justo a la parte. Ah, <laughs> yes. Um, no in front. Okay, next year. No, next to it. Uh huh. It's an English center that it's right next to it. Yeah, oh. there's where I work. <laughs> <laughs> so anytime that you pass by, you will see me there. Like, Salute, teacher. <laughs> I will be there. Yes, so that's, okay. that's the place where I work. Well, my dear Raul, thank you very much for these minutes that you gave me uh, tonight. Keep practicing. And if you need anything, make sure that uh, you continue practicing, you continue investigating, and I am here to help you, okay? Okay, oh, teacher. Thank Have you. Have a nice day, good night. Have a beautiful night. Bye-bye. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye-bye.